Kholoktok is home. Like other communities in Nunavut and across Canada, we've had our struggles. The high school students poured into school the first for the first day of school in August, only to be told that a young man had taken his life yet again last night. And that might have been our sixth suicide in that short time frame. And each of these incidents were attached to the purchase of a bootleg bottle. And they were all youth. So that was a hard day to take. We brought all of the student population into the school gym. We locked the doors. And we needed the students to say enough is enough. That morning, we spent the rest of the morning just encouraging them to express themselves. Express yourself. Say it. Write it. Sing it. Type it. Record it. Paint it. So at the end of expressing themselves, we said, now what do we do? So we say it out loud in the community. We march and we tell the people, enough is enough. No more. No more selling bottles. No more bootlegging. No more violence. End it. Enough is enough. Those words, enough is enough. People came. We expected the high school students to be out marching, but then we, the elementary school joined us. People came out of their homes to join their kids. And that day, there was so much love felt. You could see it and you could feel it. You could hear it amongst the people, sorry. Since that March day, we had a liquor plebiscite. The people voted yes for liquor control, eliminating and putting more control on bootlegging. And since then, I'm very happy to say our suicide rates dropped drastically. There are still things that are going on that need to be stopped, like every other town, but it's made a difference. How do we get our community ready for the future? That's today the movement of our Moving Forward Together programs and our youth programs are encouraging people to speak. Our youth are so special, they're so talented in so many ways. They can dance, they can sing, they can write, they can hunt, they can play sports, they can make movies. So we need to find partners and we need to find ways to continue to receive funding so that our youth initiatives can continue to grow through our youth centers. If we all work and share for the, the betterment of community, our children can lead the way. And that's what makes Koloktok such an amazing place to live. And I'm so proud to call it home because here the people will listen to each other.